Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to be doing a ROM overview for the T-Mobile HD2. It's running an Android uh, ROM, a NAND ROM. It's Nexus HD Gingerbread version 2.4. It's uh, almost a complete AOSP uh, gingerbread ROM. So you have your standard 3D launcher. Uh, you have all the little visual cues of Android 2.3 and it's a 2.3.3 ROM I believe actually let me check because I don't want to lie about it yeah Android 2.2.3 you can see the little orange cues when you scroll too far on the menus and or reach the end of a menu has all the standard things uh, one thing I really enjoy about it go into manage apps and you go to running it's just much more clean looking in here now when it shows you running sources and all that I like the way they've changed some of the visual cues on it. I wasn't so big on it at first. Um, this one doesn't come with everything. Like it comes with just standard widgets. Uh, of course, uh, it comes. You have to flash Google Apps separate, but in the link to the um, ROM on XDA, they also link to the apps to SD, which I am running on this one for a change, and the uh, Google Marketplace and all the Google apps. You have to flash them separately, but it's no problem since you're going to flash the ROM anyway. So it'll be done right there. As you can see, it doesn't have the uh, microbes uh, live wallpaper. I don't know why it has the new Nexus live wallpaper, which Nexus revamps my favorite anyways. Uh, it's just a very clean ROM, very stable. Um, I noticed in the description he said you have to have audible touch tones off to not have the robot, nah, excuse me, robot voice when you make phone calls. I have audible tones on and I did not have that problem anyways because I always test it back and forth to see uh, I got good connection speed on it it comes with an overclock kernel which is still turned up because I did a benchmark video uh, I've been running it with set CPU profiles uh, ignore the 14 that's imported in from another device but I've been running it with set CPU profiles to turn the you know, screen when the screen is off it turns the processor down and I've been getting excellent battery life out of this ROM much better than any of the Sense ROMs I really enjoy the vanilla Android uh, it's definitely worth checking out it's right up there with the GPC version 1.7 gingerbread ROM that was basically built the same way um, but this one is still being improved and still being worked on I like this background by the way <laughs> but uh, it's a very clean just very simple ROM works well I'm going to install another kernel though. I'm going to run a, a higher overclock kernel that allow me to overclock it to 1.5 because the speed on here is not horrible, but it could be better. I'm going to do another benchmark video. There's a benchmark video for this with this kernel that uh, I'll link to under this video. But uh, if you're looking for a plain Android 2.3.3 for this phone, this is an excellent ROM. Um, I really like the Nexus HD ROMs. I've been using them since uh, this phone first got Android through the uh, SD card. I, I used the SD card builds for Froyo. I used the NAND build for Froyo on this for quite a while. I might even go back and do another review because some people just prefer Froyo. I kind of prefer Froyo myself. But uh, of course Gingerbread, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just some of the visual cues I'm not so big on. Uh, but if you want to run a gingerbread, this is definitely a wonderful ROM. And like I said, uh, now in NAND, I'm still using it, and I'll probably continue to use the ROMs. They always make really high-quality ROMs, in my opinion. Uh, I'll link to the ROM in the bottom under the video. Uh, I'll link to an overclock kernel too, because some people like to, you know, run overclock kernels on it. I'm not gonna link to the Google Apps or to the Apps to SD program because they link to it in their own XDA thread so I'll let you get it from them just to make sure it stays updated to the most because if I put it, it they might come out with a new one and I want you to have the most up to date stuff but overall very clean very quick ROM runs very well great battery life and like I said if you want a plain Android 2.3.3 ROM with no customization I definitely suggest you try this ROM it's definitely worth a shot uh, I've imported in and out from it with titanium and I haven't had the problem that I had running the GPC's ROM which makes me suggest this a little bit more I hate to say because I really like that ROM but uh, like I said check it out I hope you enjoyed